welcome dear students in today's online class we discuss powder diffraction patterns of three selected crystals that is sodium chloride potassium chloride as well as cesium chloride in the previous class we discussed the powder diffraction pattern of the three type of cubic crystals or cubic lattices that is primitive cubic body centered as well as face centered now remember that sodium chloride and potassium chloride are isostructural they have the same crystal lattice and actually it is fcc type that we have already discussed in while discussing bracks experiment so let us first take sodium chloride this is the powder diffraction pattern obtained for sodium chloride see where are the reflection lines seen in the previous class we have already learned that from bracks equation we can derive an equation which is used for the analysis of powder diffraction pattern that is sin square theta is equal to k a constant into h square plus k square plus L square and to predict the uh, reflection, the diffraction pattern, uh, what all you have to do is to give all possible values of for H K L that's the Miller indices and get a sine square theta value that is possible angles for getting reflection from various planes. Accordingly, we have. Various values for sine square theta, giving all possible values for H K L, uh, corresponding to one zero zero plane. You have one K, two K, three K, four K like that, and see there is no seven K because you cannot have seven K by putting any value for H K L, and it goes continues for the eight K, nine K, etc. Let us take sodium chloride first. Sodium chloride is an FCC lattice. That means it has two types of ions, Na plus as well as Cl minus ions. That is anions and cations. Both are in FCC arrangement. So NaCl crystal consists of two FCC lattices. One that of Na plus and the other that of Cl minus. Which are halfway interpenetrated. This is the model of sodium chloride crystal. See, green balls represent chloride ion, for example. So, where are they occupied? At the eight corners, you can see the green balls, and also at the center of all the six faces, right? So, that is FCC, correct? Now, take sodium ion. You can see Na plus ions. Here comes in the edge centers, all the edge centers, and also there is one at the body center. Actually, this Na plus is also in FCC arrangement. How you understand that? For that, you extend. This is only one unit cell of NaCl, and of course there is so many so unit cells all around the crystal, or in the crystal. If you are reflecting this part to this side, that means you are extending this side. That means you consider this part of the next unit cell. Okay, how it will come? See, Na, Cl minus and Na plus are alternately coming. Okay, so if this is Na plus, this Cl minus next will be Na plus, right? Here will be Cl minus. Here will be Na plus. So you get Na plus at the Uh, if you are considering this unit cell, okay, half from this unit cell and half from the next unit cell, you will see that there are Na plus ion at the eight corners, okay, here and here, and there is also Na plus at all the face centers, correct? That means Na plus is also in FCC. You understand? So Na plus as well as Cl minus are in FCC. Now. Sodium chloride is giving a typical powder diffraction pattern for FCC. In the previous video, you can see that in FCC, 
where are the lines obtained the first line appear at 111 why not at 100110 because of what is called systematic absence right uh, there will be destructive interference of x rays coming from the planes in between i am not repeating that you watched the previous video so first line here second line at 200 then at 220 311 222 etc so sodium chloride is giving a typical a diffraction pattern that of fcc so let me write our finding sodium chloride is giving f it is an fcc a uh, type of crystal and giving exactly what is expected fcc pattern and we have a generalization that in fcc the reflections are obtained for what kind of values of hkl if hkl values are all odd or all even you can verify see 111 all odd this to zero is considered to be even so 200 all even all even all odd all even okay so that is that coming to kcl interesting is the case of kcl kcl is isostructural with nsl so the structure is that k plus as well as cl minus ions are both having fcc lattices which are half interpenetrated so the same model will fit for kcl only thing is that instead of this gray ball here that is na plus it will be k plus that's all right but what about the powder pattern very surprising powder diffraction pattern of kcl is not similar to uh, uh, a typical fcc type why this happens actually powder pattern of kcl seem to be that of a primitive cubic okay that's observation powder diffraction pattern of kcl appear to be that of a primitive cubic but kcl is an fcc type of crystal why this happens it's because you know in kcl the ions present that is k plus and cl minus they are isoelectronic right what is mean by isoelectronic you know that both ions contain same number of electrons isn't it k plus and cl minus are isoelectronic contain same number of electron that is 18 electrons and i've told it that during x ray diffraction the scattering power of the scattering of x ray depends on the scattering power of the ions which in turn depends on the electron density if both ions have same number of electrons they will show same scattering power what is the effect of this because of that the first line expected at 111 is missing in the case of kcl see what is 111 plane i have shown you in previous classes look very very carefully see this is 100 planes if one something come in between it is 200 then if you draw planes like this diagonally this is 110 because it is cutting two axes and parallel to one so 110 plane this one this one etc parallel hold it like this and you look at this plane connecting all the three na plus ions right it is cutting all the three axes that is 111 plane and look very very closely very keenly see i am showing it this gray balls okay suppose if it is kcl this is k plus ions this is 111 plane just below that you can see a plane containing only the green balls right this is the parallel plane to this one that can in only cl minus after that you can see a plane containing only k plus then only cl minus then only k plus it goes like that so alternate 111 planes containing k plus only and cl minus only that is what is there so what happens you know 
reflection from this one one of course this this is also one one plane the rest of the particles will be in other units and reflection from this plane suppose you you take this cl minus plane and that from the ne this next cl minus plane one 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 plane uh, which contains cl minus they are actually in phase but since k plus comes in between in the middle you know when a plane comes in between what happens the reflection will be out of phase and a destructive interference and no light so that is what happens reflection from this cl minus plane the plane containing cl minus alone and the plane containing k plus alone they will cancel out they are out of phase so what happens the one 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 line is missing this happens because this k plus and cl minus are isoelectronic you may ask why not this happens in nacl in nacl also same structure you have cl minus layer k na plus layer cl minus layer na plus like that but na plus and cl minus ions are not isoelectronic right of course you know that na plus and cl minus ions they do not have same number of electrons N plus is having 10 electrons, Cl minus is 18 electrons. So they do not cancel out completely. There will be a residual and resultant will be there. So that is why NACL is showing the lines corresponding to FCC lattices. But KCL is not showing the characteristic lines of FCC. That is one one line is missing. But 200 zero zero comes then comes 220, fine. Me again, missing of 311 due to the same reason. And then comes 222. See, I have told you at the beginning that the powder diffraction pattern of KCL appears to be that of a primitive cubic. Why? Because if you look at the lines, first line appears at 200, then 220, then 222. So 200, 220, 222 which could be easily misunderstood as 100, 110 and 111 because you know this is these are equivalent planes if you have 100 something come in between is 220 is 200 if you have 110 something come halfway is 220 so they are equivalent planes right so that is why this KCL a lattice is misunderstood as primitive. So, in short, what about KCL? KCL is also FCC lattice. That means they contain FCC lattice of K plus as well as CL minus, which are halfway interpenetrated. But the powder pattern appears to be that of a primitive cubic due to these reasons. Finally, we have cesium chloride. Cesium chloride is giving a powder pattern typical of what? A primitive cubic, simple cubic, right? That means all reflections are seen. So what is the lattice of cesium chloride? Cesium chloride, which contain Cs plus and Cl minus ions, see that both are having primitive cubic lattices, right? Cesium ion as well as Cl minus ion, both having primitive cubic lattices halfway interpenetrated, and it is giving as expected the powder pattern of a primitive cubic type. Looking at the model, see in the case of NaCl and KCl, this is a unit cell, but in the case of cesium chloride, let us consider only a small cube here. You cannot see that, right. This is a big cube divided into eight small cubes, right? And you consider only one small cube. And I'm telling you, you have to imagine, suppose all these are green balls, okay? This is not gray, this is also green. All the balls are green, suppose. So this is green, all are green here. So what is this arrangement? Green means chloride ion. So these are chloride ions in which, which arrangement primitive cubic only at the eight corners. And I am keeping an additional ion at the body center of this small cube. I will keep here cesium and here. You understand? So 
eight chloride ions at the corners and at the center of the cube there is cesium ion. So chloride is in primitive cubic, okay? Cesium ion is at the body center. So looking at this, you may miss, uh, get misled as cesium chloride is a BCC type. It is a wrong statement. See? I am drawing cesium chloride unit cell here. This is a cube. And then let me show here chloride ions at the eight corners. Okay? And cesium ion is here. So altogether it looks like BCC. But that is not the way. It is only primitive cubic Cl minus. And also you can see in close examination that cesium ion is also in primitive cubic. So to understand that, listen, consider now all the eight cubes. I repeat, all gray balls are also green, all green balls. So you can see that primitive cubic arrangement of chloride ions only in all these cubes. And as I said earlier, imagine a cesium ion at this center. And there will be cesium ion in all these unit cells at the center of each cube, right? Okay, so there are cesium ions at the center of all these eight cubes. Now you join them, join these cesium ions, what do you get? You get another cube inside, right? And at the center of that cube, what is here? This one, this is not green, this is green. So you have chloride ion. So you have primitive cubic arrangement or you have chloride ions at the eight corners and cesium at the body center or in vice versa. In other words, you have eight cesium ion at the eight corners and there is a chloride ion at the body center. So that is complementary means you can interpret the lattice in both ways. That's very interesting part of this crystal lattice. So the point is in cesium chloride, it is that if you re repeat this unit cell all around, you will see that around each chloride ion, each cesium ion, there are eight chloride ions. Around each chloride ion, there will be eight cesium ion. So we say that the coordination number in cesium chloride is eight is to eight. Whereas in the case of sodium chloride and potassium chloride, the coordination is only six is to six. So that part we will discuss later in detail. Coming back to this polar pattern, you can see all the reflections are obtained corresponding to primitive cubic in the case of cesium chloride. So uh, that means you will have uh, in the middle, you will have uh, if these are all chloride ions, you will have cesium ions coming in alternate layers. But that doesn't cancel. Okay, you may want uh, doubt because between two chloride ions, there is uh, a middle, middle plane coming that of cesium ion. So do they uh, destructively interfere? No, because in cesium chloride, they are not isoelectronic. So even if uh, next ray comes from the middle plane, that will not be completely cancelling out because they are not isoelectronic. There will be a result and that's why you're getting all the reflections. So that's about the powder diffraction patterns of these three crystals. Thank you.